really to give you some ideas about how you can fuel your brain. One of the biggest things that we have found out in surveys is that probably most of you haven't even had breakfast this morning. Coming to, coming to school, not fueling your brain, doesn't set you up to succeed. We want to give you some hints and tips that you can really do really simply just to rehydrate your brain, to give you some long-lasting energy, avoid those sugary drinks. And Mrs. Fuller is going to show you how to knock up a quick stir fry. The first thing, as you came in to the hall this morning, there was a variety of drinks. It was just water. I'm guilty of not drinking much water. We all know she have about eight to 10 glasses. So we just want to show you how you can just make it just that little bit more flavoursome and even add a few nutrition uh, elements to it as well. Ice, cucumber, water. Done. If you fancy something a little bit better, if you like ginger, ginger and lemon, fantastic. One big chop of ginger, straight into a jug of water. Done. Frozen berries, it's cheap as, about a pound for a whole pot. This will last you over a month. Quick handful of berries into the jug of water. <laughs> and lastly, good old classic, bit of lemon, bit of lime, water, done. Of course, if you can't be bothered to even chop a lemon, you can just buy the lemon juice and just put a couple of squirts into that. So, uh, over to you. Okay, guys. Um, now, if someone said that you could have a grade for virtually very little effort, have the next grade up, I think you'd probably take it. Well, food is how you're going to get there. Your brain needs 20% of your overall energy. Well, 20% is a grade boundary. That's the next grade or two above. So keeping your body and your brain well rested and well, well fed is, is a, a key secret. Every performance sports team will have a nutritionist making sure the top athletes, men and women, the top of their game will have a perfect diet. That's the winning edge. You can get the winning edge. So, Choose yourself some lovely fresh vegetables, lots of different colours. We've got ginger, chilli, lime, courgette, mushrooms, posh vegetables like this tender stem broccoli. If you don't like broccoli, you'll love the tender stem stuff. Play a bit more, tastes nicer. Nice spring greens, and just slice everything up really, really fine and small. And my students are saying, can you tell us how, uh, you know, how much to have? Well, I just say, five or six slices of everything. If you have five vegetables or five ingredients, five or six slices of each one, and that's enough for one person. So I spent five minutes chopping this, these ingredients up this morning, and then now all I need to just cook them. So if you're right in the middle of a hectic revision, you can do, right, I need some dinner. This is getting a bit boring. Looking at um, food now, I'm feeling hungry in my food revision. So you need yourself a five minute break to rehydrate and feed your whole body and brain. A wok is perfect for this because you can cook quickly, fast, it's hot, hot food that's going to make you feel good. And also it preserves the, vit the vit vital micronutrients and macronutrients like vitamin C. If you overcook something, you destroy the vitamin C in it. It wilts and it's all floppy. You basically killed it. So if you get a wok on and People just start warming things up and stewing things. Get it hot, so just test it. A little flick of water and get that pan nice and hot. Then you can use an oil. Any oil will do. A mild olive oil, a rapeseed oil, a vegetable oil. Quite a bit, because it helps cook everything. And then just start throwing in all your vegetables. Things like onions and mushrooms. If you like meat, then uh, Thin strips of meat, chicken, prawns, lean white meat. If you're a vegetarian, you can just go, go lots of variety of the uh, vegetables in there. Courgettes and peppers. Your tender stem broccoli. Get yourself some tongs and just keep the pan, keep the ingredients moving in the pan. 
so the heat just touches them. Keep it looking glossy. If you want to, if you know it's cooking, it looks nice and glossy, moist, and the hot oil is cooking those ingredients very quickly. Then just get in your spring greens, your ginger, which is high in vitamin C. It's an antioxidant. It kills that stress from your hard exam day. A bit of garlic if you fancy. Get the flavours in there. And then these noodles are great. These are just instant into the wok noodles. No waiting around for things to boil. These are instant pad thai noodles. You can get nice thick udon noodles. If you like me, I love a thick udon noodle. It's got a bit of a bolt to it and substance. Break those up, toss those around. You might need a little bit of extra oil. Something that's really good is seasonal. Little jar of Schwartz seasonal. Little shake of that. A bit of pepper. Pepper goes in Asians. Everyone's got a can of a, a soy sauce. Keep it moving nice and quick. Hopefully that's within five minutes. And if you want to make it really authentic, just squeeze in some lime juice just to get that sweet, sour kind of contrast and flavour to it. And that's your dinner done. And then you're ready to go straight back to your science revision. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, food revision. <laughs> Which is actually science, did you know, and maths and English all together. Mr. Desborough. Of course, we all like sweet things, and you can go and buy these fantastic cereal bars made from Jordans and all the rest of it, but loads of them are just packed full of sugars. Now, we're not here to be killjoys and say you can't have sugar, but it's the amount of sugar you have first thing in the morning. What we're trying to encourage you to do is be able to cre um, create uh, your body to run at a set level throughout the day. So you don't have peaks and troughs when you consume too much sugar, get all, uh, all excited, then crash and burn. And that's when you normally fall asleep, don't eat properly, and you drink them monster drinks. So we're going to show you how to just really quickly, on a Sunday afternoon, knock up a really, really healthy uh, cereal bar that you can have for breakfast, for a sweet treat, in no time at all. And it's simple as. You just get some rolled oats, some porridge oats, and any kind of nuts or anything you like. Hazelnuts, walnuts, I've got some sunflower seeds in here. You just basically just put a massive handful, big hands, into a bowl. We've got some chopped dates. You can buy them already chopped. Just put them into a bowl. Cranberries, really, really high source of vitamin C, helps you retain information into the bowl. And then for a little bit of crunch, some peanut butter. If you can't have peanut butter, you can substitute it with anything else. And finally, some honey in there as well. And you literally just give it a really, really quick mix with your hands. So, would you like to go and offer some of those uh, toasted ones around? And then, once done, just pop it onto a tray, put it in the fridge for an hour and a half, it's done. You can just cut it up, and during the week, you have these nutritious, really, really high energy bars that you'll be able to cut into, and you save yourself an absolute fortune as well. Mrs. Fellows just handed a few out around there. Now we've got loads of ideas, tips, recipe ideas, things that help you sleep, things that help you concentrate, and we're going to share all those with you on the website. Okay? And you literally, no baking, just pop that into the fridge, chop it up, and there's some going around for you now. Okay. That's it. That's all we got. <laughs>